process of photosynthesis part 2 now let us perform an activity to understand the presence of carbohydrates or starch in the green leaves take two potted plants of the same kind keep one in the dark for 72 hours and the other in the sunlight now let us pluck one leaf from each plant and perform iodine test. Boil the two leaves separately and place the two leaves each on a glass plate. Now add a few drops of iodine on each leaf. We can observe the color change from green to blue in the leaf which is exposed to sunlight. This indicates the presence of starch in it. The color of the other leaf which was kept in dark will not change. This indicates the absence of starch. Now, let us answer a question. We all might have seen plants with deep red, violet or brown leaves. Do these leaves also carry out photosynthesis? And the answer for this is yes. The leaves other than green also have chlorophyll. The large amount of red, brown and other pigments mask the green color. Photosynthesis takes place in these leaves also. We all might have observed slimy green patches in ponds or in other stagnant water bodies. These are generally formed by the growth of organisms called algae. Algae contains chlorophyll. Hence, algae can prepare their own food by photosynthesis. Now let us know from where do the plants obtain nitrogen. Plants generally synthesize carbohydrates through photosynthesis. The carbohydrates are made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. These are used to synthesize other components of food. However, proteins are nitrogenous substances which contain nitrogen. We all know that nitrogen is abundantly present in gaseous form in the air. However, plants cannot absorb nitrogen in this form. Soil has certain bacteria that converts gaseous nitrogen into a soluble form and release it into the soil. Nitrogen in the soluble form is absorbed by the plants along with water. In this way, the plants fulfill their requirements of nitrogen along with the other constituents. Therefore, plants can sympathize components of food other than carbohydrates such as proteins and fats. 